In this video I'm going to code out our gunshot sound effect which we've got here. So this is the sound effect. When we click the mouse button and shoot in our game we want the sound effect to play continuously but we're going to control the intervals and stuff later on and there's a range of problems which other people on YouTube haven't addressed because I've looked at the other videos of this and um, they miss out key points so I thought I'd do my own. So um, first thing we need to create an object for the gunshot itself so let's call it gunshot. Alright so we've got the transform. Let's add the component. We can either go to audio audio source or we can just drag it on the gunshot so everything's okay. It's quite important priority wise. I always want to hear the gunshot so let's put it a priority of one. The volume's good and yeah the pitch is good. We want it to be very loud the gunshot so that's all we need. I want to make a script that deletes the object, the, the whole game object, not just the audio clip so I want it to delete the object after the sound is finished playing. All right, so it's a very simple script. So let's create a script. Let's call it destroy game object after sound play. Quite long, but <laughs> you know the the uh, more accurate the better. So it's a very simple script, guys. So um, we need one private float, I think. Just looking at my notes, uh, and we're going to call it total time before so it's going to be a countdown timer and when this timer gets to zero the object's going to destroy basically so the object that this script is attached to um, we need the sound and to do that is this get component where is it get component um, audio source so it's getting the audio source of this object and we can only have one audio source per object so self-explanatory and we're going to set this variable so the total time is the sound clip length alright so we've got the length straight away on the update function um, this object minus equals time delta time so this is the time that's elapsed since the object first got created and it's going to minus it every frame so it's a countdown so when this gets to zero the whole object, I want the whole game object to be destroyed if total time before destroy is less or equal to zero destroy this game object simple as that guys this is the whole script so in the future if you're making a game instead of making a separate script for this you might want to just make a function and store it in a useful method script or something or helper script whatever you want to call it so this is it for now let's jump back into our scene and um, add the script onto our gunshot so boom so this is all we need so um, let's make a prefab to start with let's call it gunshots drag it on and uh, delete this from the scene we don't need it in the scene anymore okay so now we can jump to our gunshot or our gun control script which controls everything with our gun basically so uh, the first thing we need to do is um, make a public game object and let's call it gunshot so straight away we can store the gunshot object there it is gunshot so get the prefab drag it on and I've already attached this script onto the player so let's drag it on there as well okay that's all we need to do um, two more variables an integer frames oh, actually I'm going to do this later because the reason I'm doing this is because there's a major problem but I want to show you the problem first and then go to the solution alright guys so when the mouse button's down um, let's instantiate the object so game object gunshot so this is a different object to the one we just declared up here it's a lowercase g so instantiate um, gunshot alright and let's just copy the parent or the objects uh, transform uh, form position alright so and let's cast it as a game object that's really important just to keep things simple so 
let's see what we've got so far, shall we? So, when we shoot, when we when the gun's down, it shoots, but it shoots at an amazingly fast pace. So we guys should have talked after that. It shoots at an unrealistic pace, and uh, let's see what happens when we shoot a lot. That's the one. So, because there's so many audios, Unity can't handle it. Basically, it's trying to overwrite audio clips, and in the end, everything just crashes. That's the first problem. So, we need to find a way to set intervals between each gunshot. Okay. And the second problem is, if I quit this. Um, the gunshot itself is a very very long clip and there's no sound in this area so if it was shorter the audio clip could delete itself here there'll be less time before it can delete itself so theoretically more clips can be uh, created before Unity messes up so <laughs> to solve this I'm gonna dive into a program I haven't visited before Audacity you can download it for free so let's just open the gunshot alright so as simple as dragging deleting this area so you want to delete this area as well so let's just delete this first okay so we can hold shift and press the right arrow key to just highlight this area here delete it out and we can highlight this area at the end go to effects fade out there's tons of effects here guys if you want to play about it's all free so the clip's a lot shorter and uh, it will play better in Unity so file export gunshot I'm going to make it a WAV I haven't got the codex for the MP3 so I'm going to call it a WAV and uh, save it out yep so which one's the WAV file that's the one native WAV alright guys so let's replace that in our prefab let's drag it on okay and uh, I don't want this anymore I'm going to delete this one alright so again now the guns shots way shorter now so we'll be able to shoot more times because they're deleting themselves faster but the problem will still occur <laughs> alright there's a bit of distortion there so and there's another problem as well. I forgot to mention it. Uh, if we if I separate this, the audio clips are going away from the character. And when I, sorry guys, the audio clips are going are kind of staying in the same position. So when the character goes away from them, there's more distortion. So just to demonstrate that again. All we need to do to fix this is. Um, parents the object after we've instantiated it to the to the player itself so gunshot dot um, transform dot parent equals this dot transform okay simple as that so where were we so we need to create an interval between the gunshots and to do that we just need to create two variables private integer frames before next shot and another one So, I want to declare this as, uh, well, let's do five to begin with, shall we? So, on every five frames, he shoots, basically, the gun, the, the effect is played. All right, so, the current frame is zero. Let's scroll down and uh, find where we were. So, this time, if the, 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 if the uh, current shot of frame equals zero, we can play the uh, gunshot else the uh, let's do the current frame goes down one okay so if the current shot frame is equal to zero you can play the shot and default it back to the other one we created the frames before next shot alright so on every five frames the sound effect will now play so let's do that if unity finally loads so this so that solves all the problems but it's painfully slow it's a bit boring so all I need to do is change the five to like a one so skip a frame just like our flashing effect 
and uh, let's play again, shall we? So. Alright, so that fixes the problem, guys. It's loading a bit slow because I'm running my screen recording software and Audacity and stuff, but that fixes the problem. Okay, so frames before next shot, one, and that is just the current frame. So that minuses every every frame or every update. And when it gets to zero, it resets itself and plays the gunshot. Alright, guys, so I think that's everything in this video. We've shortened the clip as much as we possibly could. We've... Um, made the gunshot delete itself after the sounds finished playing and we've parented it to the object so there's no distortion all right so big video but if you uh, can watch it again and learn it that'd be great and uh, thanks for watching guys see you in the next video